Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you're such a good dog. Yes, yes. I, I, I love the kisses, too. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm David Mello, Supervisor of Children's Services here at the Fall River Public Library. And this is Bruce. And yes, Bruce is a dog. And I have Bruce here today because I'm going to share with you some new dog stories that we have at the library. And Bruce, would you like to listen? Okay, I'm going to have you sit on the floor then. Uh, very good. Now, you listen carefully. He's a good dog. Now, my first story is about a very, very long dog. Probably the longest dog you will ever see in your lifetime. And so the story is called, I am the Longest Dog by Avery Monson, published by Disney Hyperion Press. You are in for quite a surprise. My name is Lucy. I am the longest dog. This is where I start. I keep going, too. I'm telling you, I'm a very long dog. Lucy's not kidding. Some people say that I am too long. But I don't listen to that nonsense. I'm a long doggy, and that's just fine with me. Oh, I'm definitely telling Sandra about this. The lady seems quite surprised. Here are some things that I am longer than. A stretch limo. Pretty long. A big blue whale, very long. A stretch limo for the big blue whale so he can drive around and go to parties and stuff. I don't know if this exists, but it would be pretty super long. Indeed it is. And still, I'm longer y'all. But being a long dog isn't always easy. I don't fit in dog houses. I can't go for rides in the car. And I'm not great at sitting on laps. Yeah, this dog might be too long. <laughs> He's wrapped right around him. No way, Buster. I am long, but I am not too long. This is the only body I've got. And I think it's... Awesome! <laughs> okay, okay, this has gone on long enough. On the next page, you'll finally see my head. Ready? Are you guys ready? Let's see what he looks like. Gotcha! <laughs> Oh, man, classic long dog joke. You say you're going to show your face, and then bam, that body just keeps going. No end in sight, baby. Wow, he just keeps on stretching. And who knows where it will stop. Maybe it never stops. Wow, do you think that's possible? Does he keep on going on forever? Maybe that long dog 
Ichabod goes over tall mountains and down through deep valleys, through hot, dry deserts and cold, wet oceans. Maybe it reaches out past the moon and the stars, past everything that anyone has ever dreamed of. Maybe it goes on forever and even more after that. Wow, do you think that's possible? He is pretty long. Gotcha again! This is where I stop. Ooh, Lucy's a rather good looking dog. Oh, another dog. <clears throat> nice to meet you, dog. I said, nice to meet you, dog. Uh, dog. Not listening. <laughs> oh, whoops. Hey, that's just me. I told you. I am an extremely long dog. And he certainly is. Look at his body as it wraps around the world. And that was, I am the longest dog in the world. Now, my next dog story is about a dog who is looking for a home of his own. And he lives in a kennel, but he won't be living there for very long. We'll see what happens in this story. Picture book by dog. I didn't know dogs could make picture books. And this story is written by Michael Relf and... It is published by Little Brown and Company. Hello, my name is Dog, and I made you this book. I'd like to share my story. Won't you have a look? He's pretty good at coloring. I was lost before we met. On my own, I roamed around, hungry, wet, and searching for the home I'd never found. Some caring people picked me up and took me somewhere dry. They washed and groomed me, gave me food. But sometimes I'd still cry. Even though the place was full, I often felt alone. I dreamed I had a special friend. I wished I had a home. The day you opened up my cage, I first thought, could it be? Of all the dogs to choose from, why on earth did you pick me? You brought me home and gave me many toys, a leash, a bed, three tennis balls, a collar, and a bowl to keep me fed. First, I had to find out what to chew and not to chew. And then I learned the hard way where to poo and not to poo. Back then, you were my teacher. You taught me good from 
bad. We snuggled, played, explored the world. Now you're the friend I never had. I look forward to the times ahead when you'll grow big one day. I'll be an old and happy dog with fur that's turning gray. We'll remember all our favorite times, and I think we'll both agree that the reason life has been so sweet is because we are family. And that's Picture Book by Dog. And I think he's ended up a very, very happy dog, don't you? And now I'd like to thank you for listening to our dog stories today. And Bruce would like to say goodbye as well.